How's it going? David from Comic Book Investments. Um, I'm 35 years in the industry, 15 years as a dealer. Now you might be wondering why I have a picture of a coin up here, and this is comics. Well, a couple things. This is not just about comics, it's about investing. Um, comics is the main thing. But I want to show you something. How the state of the collectible market is you know, going along. So this, this coin here, I really don't know much about coins. But apparently it's the rarest of coins. I don't know. Sold for nine million bucks. Now, that was a huge number, huge, huge number. Um, I can remember when I had an argument with like a friend, and it, and this is probably seven years ago. And at the time, the most one sold for was five million or something like that. So. Yeah, it's nearly doubled. I don't know if it was that coin that sold, because apparently the last time this coin sold was in 79 for $700,000. So think of that return. Great return. Now, that brings up another one. Um, this Wayne Gretzky rookie sells for, sells for $1.29 million. Right? And... That is an outlandish price for that. Um, yeah, and then we can go to here. A Mickey Mantle rookie sells for 5.2. The previous record for a sports card um, was, let's see, did it, was a three, almost $4 million. $4 million previous record. This card sold for back in 2018 for 2.8. So nearly doubled in two, three year time. Um, but yeah, it's just showing that comics, cards, coins, anything collectible, it just keeps on going higher and higher and higher. And the best for comics, right? So here's a comic, Batman one sells for $2.2 million. Huge, huge amount. This is, it was a 9.4, it was the high, single highest grade. So, you know, yeah. But, I mean, the highest comic ever sold was 3.2, was an action comic, and I believe it was the highest grade. I'm not sure, I can't remember now, it's been so long. Um, but yeah, so what that this shows is there's even stuff like, you know, the Mickey Mantle card, the coin, you know, all Wayne Gretzky, all that stuff is it can show where comics can get to. Because right now, comics are, you know, the two, three million dollars at the top. But if coins keep going up and 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 cards keep going up, then comics are going to soon follow. And and that just shows that there's a healthy collectibles market there just for collectibles in general. If someone out there is willing to pay $9 million for a coin, you better believe that sooner or later there's going to be someone paying $9 million for an action number one, right? And, you know, what's that saying? Uh, high tide rises raises all ships, I believe. So if everything's just raising and raising, comics come along with it. Because comics, I feel like, always got like the short end of the stick in the collectibles world. But I honestly think that it will pass cards, sports cards. Um, and it could easily pass coins as well. Uh, and that also plays into original art with comics. Now, pretty soon, you know, you have like Picasso's and stuff, so the hundreds of millions of dollars, all that kind of stuff. But soon you'll have, you know, original art. It's a comic artist, you know, selling for millions of dollars, you know. And pretty soon, next thing you know, it's like, oh, this original cover to this comic book, this, oh, cracked $2 million. You know, it's like, oh, wow. You know, when you went back, you know, 10, 20 years ago, that wasn't the case. So I'm just saying that this video is just basically like more of like saying, that, like, yes, comics is a good, safe investment. They're not going anywhere. I proved it in other videos that this keep on going up and showing you other avenues like sports cards you know, you know, even automobiles and coins, all that stuff, it, this continues to rise, commerce is going to rise too. And 
the good thing is, is now investor groups are putting in money into it, which means they see it as a safe investment, which means it's just going to rise even more. Um, so yeah, so stock markets are great. Real estate is great, but I feel like people put that, oh, that's normal investing, right? Stocks, real estate, all that kind of stuff. And I don't, I don't think people look at collectibles in that same light, like, oh, it's a healthy, good investment. So, but it is, it is. I mean, it, I've just showed you articles how they keep on getting record prices. And so you, I'm trying to put comics and other collectibles in that same vein. So when someone goes and is like, oh, how's, how's your investments going? Most people just think like, oh, real estate and stocks and mutual funds and bonds and all that kind of stuff. Like you should put collectibles in there. Like when they say diversify, like don't just think real estate, stocks, you know, money markets, stuff like that. Put in collectibles too. Pokemon cards, magic cards, they've been going skyrocketing too. Like all that kind of stuff, comics, sports cards, memorabilia, original art that's not like, you know, it's more like comic art and stuff like that. Like that should be something that you're div diversifying in as well. And especially since if you love comics, it's even better because not only do you, are you putting something that you love, right? But you get to actually have it. It's not like a stock where it's like, I'm investing in Tesla and it's like, oh, I got something on a computer screen that says I have X shares, right? This, it's like, oh, awesome. I get to have this cool book that I really love. And on top of that, it's making me money. So I just want people to realize that comics are a good investment and just like, like, I'm sure most of the people watching will probably think that, but then let other people know, you know, and it's, it's going to take some time, you know, it's like some people, comics still has that kind of stigma. It's like nerdy, and, you know, it's for geeks or something like that. And which I just, I'm a nerd and I love all that stuff, but it kind of has like a negative thing. But I think in the years to come, people will turn around on it and be like, oh, comics, like it's already starting. But it's like, oh, comics, yeah, I heard that's a good investment. Like, I still talk to people today, and I'll ask them, and they're like, oh, you sell comics for a living? Like, give me, like, some weird look. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, and I'll ask them straight up, like, what do you think the most expensive comic would sell for? And I'm like, I don't know, 100 bucks. <laughs> and it's like, I laugh, and I tell them, like, no, millions would be the most expensive. And they're like, oh, that's not true. How could that be? And like, I'm telling you. And it's like, and then they're like, that's crazy. And like, why would anyone pay that much for a comic book and I'm like well why would anyone pay hundreds of millions of dollars for a Picasso why would anyone pay nine million dollars for a coin five million dollars for a baseball card you know millions of dollars for a car right millions of dollars for a watch like you have a phone you can tell the time just easily what do you want jewelry all that stuff you know it's because that's what people do and people can accept that you pay millions for a car that you pay millions for a Picasso art piece and stuff like that but some people still can't accept that you pay millions for a comic and it's slowly getting there and if you invest now when it hits that point and everyone knows puts comic art in the same vein as like you know the classic art then and you've invested your you know your money into that stuff then it's just gonna skyrocket even more so yeah uh, yeah so if you like this type of video uh, just, you know, just like, subscribe, share this with someone that you know. Um, and if there's anything you want me to talk about, go in depth about, you know, I'd be happy to. Um, yeah, thanks.